What up, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. This one right here is simply for people who are having a problem with the crew motor fest. Uh, if you were having the same problem I was having, man, uh, every time you use your steering wheel, the game would crash. And I mean within maybe one or two minutes of you using your steering wheel, as soon as you turn the wheel to the left or to the right, it'll crash. Uh, it's very annoying, it's a bad problem. Uh, hopefully they get it fixed, but um, how to fix it, I'm gonna help you. If I use the controller when playing, it works fine. As soon as I use this, man, it, it, I can play for 30, an hour, two hours, three hours, it, 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 the game won't crash at all. As soon as I plug in my steering wheel, it crashed. Um, I was using the software G-Hub, so uh, uh, you should uninstall it for this video, but we're gonna reinstall it, but I'm gonna show you what to do. Uh, the first link in the description will take you to this page right here. It's Logitech Gaming Software. This is what they had out before G-Hub, before they actually, uh, you know, released G-Hub. So what I did and what you should do is uninstall G-Hub right now. This is a verbal tutorial because I'm not going to actually redo the steps. Um, I don't want to mess up my settings. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. Um, uninstall G-Hub right now. And if you want to know how to do that, you go down here and you type in add and then boom. Add remove programs, go in there, you find G Hub, you type in G, or you can type in Hub. There you go. Logitech G Hub. Take that sucker out of there, man. Get rid of it. Alright. And uh you'll click it and hit uninstall. Alright, I'm not gonna uninstall it. Um get that out the way. Uh, then the next step you want to do is right here uh, on this page, which is the first link in the description Scroll down hit download now as Soon as it's on your computer go to your downloads. I don't know if you got three dots in your internet uh, corner or whatever, but uh, Install it immediately if it says you want to save settings or register any settings hit yes all right, and then um after that I want you to Uninstall it. <laughs> Uninstall it, man. Um, I believe I removed mine too. Let me make sure. LGS. Yeah, it's not there. Logitech. Yeah, I removed mine too. So, yeah, make sure you remove that. Get that out of there. And then you will go to the second link in the description, which is G Hub, this site right here. I have Windows, so I use Download for Windows. You'll click that. It'll pop up over here. You click it immediately. Click it immediately. And just let it install. Um, install it. But what I want you to do is do not update. Do not update it, man. Don't update it. So let me see something hub. Where you at? Logitech G Hub. I go mine right here. I'm gonna show you guys. Boom. When you open it, right? Okay, thank you for downloading G Hub. I can close this site right here in the background. When you when you did, when you uh, actually download it, right? <clears throat> and you open it, it's going to ask you to update the firmware. Don't do that. Don't even do it. Because if you update it, man, you'll be right back to the same spot where you already had your steering wheel updated and it's going to crash. But if you leave it right here, it works, man. It works so well. And uh, that's pretty much all you really gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Um, if any other games are not working, it's it's a simple choice that you gotta make. Either you care about Mortal Fest more or you care about the other games, but they still should work. I think this firmware update was just, you know, to uh, fix a couple bugs and stuff like that. But Mortal Fest does have uh, force feedback and um, vibration and everything still works so that's the best way i know of fixing the stern wheel for the crew motor fest i hope this helps you and um yeah man stay tuned see you guys in the next video peace